The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. During today's sessions, the chamber continues hearing. Continue. The presentation concerning the documents on the keys. Or, uh, the key document on the role of the accused. Before we hand over to Avant the prosecutors to proceed with this, uh, Mr. Saikovati is now uh, instructed to report to the chamber on the current the status of the parties to the proceedings. Saikovati. Mr. President and Your Honours, all the parties to the proceedings are present, except Mr. Michael Canovas, who is absent due to his health concerns. Mr. Pek Ang, the colleague lawyer for the civil parties, is absent due to his personal health concerns, and Mr. Ying Seri is present uh, in his holding cell, while Mr. Kyuson Pong is also present in the holding cell due to their respective health concerns. Uh, Mr. Mr. Nunji is still at the hospital. The President. Thank you. The Chamber would like to now rule on the objection of the Kyosampon defense that concern documents identified uh, by the co-prosecutors. The trial chamber notes the objection of the Kyosampon defense uh, that certain documents identified by the co-prosecutors should not be put before the chamber pursuant to the chamber's earlier decision on the written statements of witnesses who will not appear to testify. Document E96-7. The Chamber has set forth the legal framework for the consideration of written statements in document E96-7 and will consider any such statement in light of these legal considerations. The Chamber notes that all documents which were objected to by the Kyosampan defense concern individuals who are now deceased, and the chamber finds them to be sufficiently relevant and reliable to be put before it. Any property value of these statements will be evaluated based on all the circumstances and the legal standards set forth in E96-7. However, the document E190.1.7 consists of an interview by an individual who is due to testify before this court in the the near future. Therefore, the co-prosecutor will be allowed to introduce the document during the testimony of this individual. Any objection to the document can be presented at that juncture. The Chamber would like to hand over to the prosecution to the continue putting the question, uh, presenting the documents. Uh, Co-prosecutor, please hold on. Counsel from Mr. Nunji, Counsel Sonarun, you may now proceed. Counsel Sonarun, 
Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Good morning, Monsieur Your Honours. Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. Following the medical report by the treating doctors at the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital regarding my client, Nunchi, and médical, as the counsels for Mr. Nunchi, we would like uh, to have a few comments uh, for the chamber with Mr. President Lee. The President, you may autorise. proceed. Le président, je vous en prie, Council, according Maître to Solarone, the medical report le by médical, the treating doctors from the 28th of January 2013, document 93. Document 93. This document was signed by three doctors, including <coughs> Dr. Nhi Meng, who Ming. said that uh, Mr. Nunchi's health condition was improving. Il On the 29th of January 2013, the treating doctors of Mr. Nunchi went to visit him. At the same time, Mr. Nguyen Chi invited uh, his family members, Nunchia all his family members, to come around him sa famille as soon as possible à lui rendre visite dès que in possible. case he may die. Pour le cas où il décéderait. This is what uh, we would like to add to uh, the report of uh, voilà donc une the doctors. Que nous there à la suite de ce were some médical. kind of discre uh, discrepancies in the document uh, by the court already, uh, by the doctors already, uh, compared uh, with this. Another medical report uh, states that uh, Mr. Nunchi's medical condition dont il improves que de santé significantly, de he could de façon sit up now. Il est indiqué que désormais At the same time, in the report, we read temps, that uh, his rapport, indiqué, old age uh, condition needs uh, or requires him to be assisted uh, de son âge medically avancé, on a regular basis. Il a besoin d'un suivi médical régulier. On another report, uh, un on the 30th report, of January 2013, janvier, report number 100, uh, indicates that his uh, health condition Il is stable compared to with uh, the condition of yesterday. So, according to the medical reports, uh, Donc, we can rapports, uh, presume that uh, Mr. Nunchi's health condition improves. Il semblerait que l'état de santé de Nunchi se soit amélioré. Indeed, uh, counsels for Mr. Nunchi are not medical doctors or experts. However, we have been monitoring médecins, the health condition of Mr. Nunchi all along, and we début, have heard from the members of Mr. Nunchi de la family de Nunchi who uh, took good care of him appear to share different accounts. Semble avoir un avis différent the de President, celui des uh, Council <coughs> Sonarun, le President. you are not Maître allowed to Sonarun, elaborate uh, further on the medical report because you already emphasized médical. that you are not uh, medical doctors. And the, the chamber notes the reports uh, prepared La by the professional doctors par des and that rep those reports uh, are sufficient uh, for the chamber to consider Et the health conditions of Mr. Nunchi. 
the chamber may hear the comments by other experts appointed by the chamber to la examine Mr. Nunchi's health condition if needs be, but we are not going to échéant, hear more from you on this. Council Sonaron, thank you, Mr. Maitre President, Sonaron, for the merci, instructions. And advice. I would like to proceed to another point. The President, uh, you are not allowed to make further comments concerning the medical condition of the accused Nun Chi. The Chamber wishes to leave it to the medical doctors at the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital who de l'hôpital de l'amitié numéro soviétique to give medical lesquels care service uh, to Mr. Nunchi and they are appointed uh, by the chamber soignés, unless you have other issue to raise uh, you are not allowed to go back si to the same medical issue of the accused affaire, Council Sonaron, I would like to also have another point to raise, which is not relevant to the medical chose. report. Uh, we received a Ceci letter from Mr. Claude, uh, the letter was sent to Mr. Palaprum that de Mr. Claude Nunchi would be discharged Palaprum, from the hospital at 2 p.m. The letter itself took us by surprise. Nous avons été surpris par cette lettre. The President, uh, though you said it's not relevant to medical issues, vous dites que ça ne concerne pas une question médicale. And uh, Or, the Chamber already. Ce n'est pas le cas. Uh, receives uh, the note and that when La Mr. Nunchi is to be discharged from the hospital and he shall be under the supervision of the chamber when he is here at the detention facility. De so the treating doctors who are on standby uh, on duty at the chamber will take good care of Les him. So you should not be too worried about Mr. Nguyen health condition now as we are informed. Présent, and again, unless you have formé. any other issue to, uh, you wish to be heard, uh, then you may be asked to sit down. Si vous n'avez rien à ajouter sur un autre point, je vous prierai de vous rassurer. Councils, uh, have another request. Uh, nous, our humble request is that uh, before Nunchi is charged, uh, discharged uh, from the hospital, could uh, doctors uh, be summoned uh, to appear before the chamber so that parties could uh, ask him some questions uh, concerning his health condition before he could be returned to the court, client, avant que celui-ci ne revienne au tribunal. The President, uh, the Le Chamber President. has made it clear this is not uh, the expected uh, procedures and the Chamber sees there is Telle no pas la need uh, to do that la and we uh, take uh, that uh, request as inappropriate. Demandé, cette, uh, demande est sans fondement. The President, uh, co-prosecutor, you may proceed now. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council Merci. and members of the public. Bonjour à tous. We continue this morning our presentation matin, nous of présenter documents relevant documents to the role of the accused Q. Sampan. And by way of a, a brief recap, Yesterday afternoon, we looked at the interviews between Q. Sampan and the co-investigating judges, uh, and we then proceeded to look at the issue of his attendance uh, at the meetings of the leadership of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, as evidenced by the surviving records, and we then proceeded to dont nous disposons encore à ce jour. Ensuite, 
establishment of democratic Kampuchea, the resignation of Norodom Sihanouk, and the appointment of Thieu Samhan as president of the state presidium of the new state. We saw a brief video uh, footage which uh, essentially contained um, images of the return of the late Norodom Sihanouk to Cambodia in September 1975. We now move on to the next document in, in this topic, um, and this document dates from January 1976. It is a report of a speech delivered by Q. Sampan. The speech itself was delivered on the 14th of December 1975. The document is found in E3 slash 273. It is a foreign broadcast information service transcription, and it is entitled Text of Deputy Prime Minister Q. Sampan's report on the new draft constitution de delivered at 14 December 1975. Third National Congress in Phnom Penh recorded. And if, if we look at that document, Your Honours, and we will try and display it on the screen for the public and uh, other Khmer speakers. What is important or relevant about this document is that it essentially reflects the role played by Ki Sampan in the creation of the new state and its institutions. Um, and it also reflects some of the principles which um, underpin the new state. Um, now, if we start at Khmer ERN 00657438, French 00725796, and English 00167811. We see an important passage here because it discusses the previous National Congress, the second National Congress about which we have already heard evidence. This is the Congress held in February 1975, which, according to the documents we've seen, condemned to death the seven super traders, as they were called. Now, this is what the document or the report of Q. Sampan states, referring to that earlier Congress. The second National Congress was then held in February and stressed our domestic and foreign policies, which consisted of one, attacking and driving out the U.S. imperialist aggressors, two, condemning and punishing the seven traitors, Lon Nol, Serik Matak, Song Yok Tan, Cheng Heng, In Tam, Long Bore, Sostene Fernandez, Sosten Fernandez, the arch anti national, arch fascist, archi and arch corrupt archi traitors, archi and, three, and, three, and three, upholding the stand of great national solidarity. solidarity Two paragraphs down, Deux paragraphs plus bas, the document reflects on the victory of the 17th of April, as seen by the Khmer Rouge and states the following, quote, on 17 April 1975, our revolutionary army, people, workers, peasants, and the entire nation achieved total victory. At that time, we faced many new tasks, including the task of protecting and preserving the gains of the victory, the task of smashing all U.S. imperialist plans prepared against us after they lost the war, and the task of solving the problems of livelihood of the people. I will skip a few paragraphs now to look at some brief passages that deal with principles underpinning the Constitution, principles as described by Q. Sampan. 
And the first issue he deals with la première question dont uh, il traite se trouve à la page 00 657-443, French 00725-798, and English 00167-813. On the issue of culture, quote, our culture has nationalistic and popular traits. It is our own culture. We also resolutely oppose all corrupt reactionary classes, or rather reactionary cultures, of the various oppressive classes and of imperialism and colonialism in Cambodia. And then, movies, magazines, which used to spread the corrupt perverted culture exists no more as they were completely wiped out from Cambodia along with the foreign imperialists. The next paragraph, continuing on on this theme of culture of the preceding regime, quote, look at what those Lonnol traitors did to their followers. The houses in Phnom Penh are full of unthinkable things. I do, not, I do not know how to describe them. These houses have no national character at all. For this reason, we resolutely oppose this kind of culture because if we allow this corrupt culture to eat away at our country, it will surely affect our efforts to defend our country and protect our independence and sovereignty. The next paragraph, Q. Sampan, goes on to discuss the issue of the collective system in the new state. And he says the following. Regarding chapter 4, we practice a collective system in transportation and labor, and such a system has been in effect for a long time now. We apply this system everywhere. We did it before liberation, and we continue to do it at present throughout the country, in all factories as well as at all production sites. He then goes on to discuss the Ensuite, institutions of the new state, including the People's Assembly, which he says has the power qui, to establish political lines. A fixer la ligne politique. But in the interest of time, I will move Mais through this rather quickly and just look at the passage that deals with the judiciary. This is at Khmer ERN 00657-445. French 00725-799 and English 00167-814. And he says the following. As you can see, under Chapter 7 on Justice, the tribunal belongs to the people. Working to defend the people's liberties and justice and punishing all activities which run counter to the state and people. This tribunal is elected and appointed by the Assembly of People's Representatives. And skipping a couple of sentences, he then deals with offences as described in the Constitution. Quote, activities defined as running counter to the laws of the state are classified into two categories. Those characterized by their systemic and dangerous nature to be punished to the greatest degree and those of lesser importance to be dealt with through construction, constructive re-education within the framework of state organizations or within the framework of people's organizations. And the last passage I wish to read from this document is at Khmer ERN 00657450, French 00725802, and English 00167816. This deals with the issue of religion in the new state. Chapter 15, Article 20, 
stipulates that our people have the right to practice whatever religion they like and the right not to practice any religion at all. This is a new freedom for our people. Also, as stated in our Constitution, our stand is not to allow any foreign imperialists to use religion to subvert us. We are determined to fight them no matter what disguises they use. The imperialists continue to look for means to attack us, among which is the use of a religious cloak to infiltrate our country. We should thus oppose them at all costs. Your Honours, the Constitution itself is on the case file. It is document E3-259, and so the passages, or rather the articles of the Constitution, uh, can be considered uh, in conjunction with, with this report. The next document we would like to briefly look at has been discussed before, so we will be brief and look at only the passages that relate to the role of Kyusampan. It is a meeting or minutes of a meeting on base work. It's not described as a minute of the standing committee, but it is attended by both Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia, as well as by Kyusampan and other senior cadre. The document is E3-232. And it is dated the 8th of March, 1976. The committee, or the leadership, had met twice on this day, once to discuss broadcasting for the new elections. Kyusampan also attended that meeting. And then, in the document we're looking at, a discussion is focused on the election itself and some other matters which we will consider briefly. If we can show that document on the screen on the first page, um, we see the attendance. And the people attending, as I indicated earlier, Comrade Secretary Paul Pot, Comrade Deputy Secretary, of course, Nguyen Chia and Comrade Hem or Q Sampan. The next in line is Comrade Duan, who of course, has been identified in evidence as the then head of the political office A70. If we look at that first page, Your Honours, the meeting starts with a report by Comrade Hem. And the minutes state the following. The report of Comrade Hem. One, Comrade Hem reported to the base regarding the principles of the election of 20 March 76, the objectives of the election, the method of election, various characteristics to run for representative, the methods of education and propaganda, etc. The minutes then contain a number of additional opinions and explanations attributed to Ankar. Relevant for present purposes, particularly in light of the adoption of the new constitution and the report by Kyu Sampan, which we looked at, indicating that the parliament has power to establish political lines, is the following passage. At Khmer ERN 0001718, French 0032393, and English 0018263030. The section dealing with the education and propaganda, where the following is stated. Quote, if anyone asks, we must explain not to be wild and disorderly. Do not let it be seen that we want to suppress. At the same time, do not speak playfully about the assembly in front of the people to let them see what, that we are deceptive and our assembly is worthless. In fact, it still remains the task of the party. The document is also relevant 
to the role of Q Sampan because of the other matters dealt with at that meeting that he was attending. And the other matters were reports by the then secretaries of three sectors, sectors 303, 106, and 103. These three sectors had, of course, formed sûr, part of the north zone, which had been commanded by Khoi Thun, a member of the Central Committee. Par Thun, and du we will be very brief on this, um, but to give a flavor of the types of issues being donner, reported, if we look at Khmer ERN 00182 that was, in fact, the English ERN. Ça, the Khmer ERN 00017118. Et Khmer ERN 00023293333. Under the heading, the situation at the base. La situation dans les villages. The situation in 303. La situation à 303. Quote, Comrade Schreng reported to Ankar on the activities of a Luans group and their associates, 34 persons whom the zone military have all already arrested. Next point, the group of Ah Uk Moon, alias Uk Hong, which attempted to flee to southern Vietnam, and four or five of their associates, and asked for instructions from Ankar. The next report on, which follows immediately below, the situation in sector 106 also discusses the enemy situation under B. And here, the, the report states that no clear roots of the events in Siem Reap on 24 February have been discovered. This would appear to be a reference to um, a bombing which had occurred or an explosion which had occurred in, in Siem Reap, uh, which is also referred to in document E3 slash 1173. That document uh, is an instruction from Office 870 and has been considered by Your Honours before, um, but I noted here in passing because it relates to the view of the Standing Committee that the bombing was was uh, likely um, organized by the American imperialists. Here in this standing committee or in this meeting minute, we see that uh, it is being investigated, or it would appear it is being investigated and reports submitted. The next report is from Sector 103, where Comrade Hong is reporting. And at the end of his report, he states the following, quote, as for the entire sector, there is no enemy activity, just groups fleeing in from different locations, like fleeing from 303 or from Kampong Chnan. Since January, almost 100 have been arrested. Ankar then goes on to give instructions, and in the interest of time, uh, I, will, I will skip that that passage, um, and it has been considered before, uh, and in particular during the testimony of Professor Chandler. Mm, but before we leave this document, passé, and if we could have the first page Chandler on the screen again, there's one aspect of this document, an additional aspect that is of particular relevance, and it is the attendance and the fate of those attending. We saw earlier that the meeting was attended by Pol Pot, Nunchia, and Q Sampan. The others were as follows. Comrade Dorn, who of course is Suavasi, the then head of political office 870. Dorn was third. His S21 confession is contained in E3-1625. It is dated the 19th of February, 1977, so less than a year after this meeting. The next attendee, Comrade Schreng, one of the sector secretaries who we saw earlier was reporting, he was also purged. His S21 confession is contained in E3-2795 and E3-135. 
He'll full, his full name is Cho Chan, Son alias Lo Shreng. Cho and Chan. the confession is dated the 3rd alias of Chen. April 1977. The next attendee, Comrade Hong, Hong, who, as we saw earlier, was reporting on Sector 103. He too was killed. His S21 confession is contained in E3-2470. His full name is Bupat, alias Hong. The confession is dated the 16th of January 1978. And lastly, Comrade Tuch, who also attended and we see this individual in a number of the minutes, uh, and sometimes he's described as a minute taker. He too was killed. His S21 confession is found in E3-3702. His full name is Pok Chai, alias Touch. And the confession is dated the 30th of March 1977. I'm just realizing that I skipped one individual just before Comrade Touch. His name is Comrade Sot, also one of the individuals who reported. And again, he was purged. His S21 confession is found in E3-1754. His full name is Ha Pao, alias Sot, and the confession is dated the 19th of March 1977. The relevance, the relevance of this document, Your Honours, of course, uh, insofar as it relates to these individuals, is that everyone attending the meeting Senior people, as the minutes indicate, Donc, des except for Pol Pot, Nunchia, and Q Sampan, was killed Tous les participants in S21. Pol Pot, Q Sampan, et Nunchia, à partir de 1977. As we move on to the next document, and this is E3197, E3 we continue to consider the role played by Q Sampan or documents, what the documents say about the role played by Q Sampan in the resignation of Norodom Siano. This document is described as a minute of a meeting of the Standing Committee, and it is a meeting on the issue of the Front, 11th of March 1976. We have seen it before, so we will move through it fairly quickly. We see on the first page of the document the sole item on the agenda is Sihanouk's resignation. And the document states under number one that Comrade Hem reported to the Standing Committee on the resignation of Sihanouk. A number of opinions are then expressed in relation to the intended or offered resignation by Norodom Sihanouk. Sur le sujet de cette démission. And I will quote briefly. So section two, opinions of Ankar. Point two, observation de Ankar. Under number one A, le point un, examining the reasons a, for the resignation, the long-term reason. Quote, fundamental class conflict between him and his family and the revolution. He cannot live with us. In the past, he could only as a tactic. Since we operated tactically, he could go along with us. He did not just resign one time, he resigned since 1971. And two paragraphs below that. There are further comments describing this resignation. Observations sur la démission. But I will move on in the interest of time and skip to the Mais section of the meeting de that deals with, rapide, uh, je vais or, or rather, a resumption of the same meeting on the evening of the 13th of March. This is at Khmer ERN 007747. French 00334963 and English 
to sec section three of the report entitled Opinions of Ankar, meeting of the meeting of the 13th. Quote, Comrade Hem reported to the Standing Committee on the Sihanouk problem. He has decided absolutely to resign his position. He explained that Ankar should take pity on him, that he would even crawl and show the gesture of respect, whatever, just let him resign. There were then comments attributed to the Comrade Secretary and those, com those comments include the following under number three, sent a wire for his children to come immediately, explaining that they are coming for the New Year's and the independence celebrations. We want to resolve this problem cleanly. We must resolve it like this to the benefit of the revolution. And the next passage before we leave this document is at Khmer ERN 00000748, English 00182641, and French 00334963. And the following is noted in relation to Sihanouk. We keep him as a dignitary. We do not kill him. But for the nation and the people, he bears serious guilt in his status of a killer of the people. Therefore, our decision is reasonable in every way. And then this. We will maintain him, but if he keeps on struggling to free himself, we must end it. In the next passage, we must end feudalism, just like this. The chess game has gotten to that point. The entire feudalist regime has been permanently smashed and dug out by the revolution. The kings existing over 2,000 years must, in the end, be clean. And we will leave that document there. Your Honours, the next record that we wish to display or, or um, put before you today is a video recording. It is found in document D232 slash 110.1.1.62R. It dates from October 1975, so the period immediately preceding this uh, resignation La uh, juste and it contains a brief excerpt where Norodom Sihanouk himself describes his disposition in relation to the issue of remaining the, the head of state at that point in time. So, Mr. President, with your permission, de de uh, we would like the AV unit Donc, to now play that video. In the table that the, the AV unit has is video D. Le vidéo D dans Thank le you. Que nous avons Merci. The president, le you may proceed. Oui, AV officer, please play the video clip de fichier as le per video. the request by the co-prosecutor. Why it does not have any sound at all? 
I'm not sure, Mr. President, there might be a technical, uh, technical glitch. Um, Le procureur, bon, there should be sound. There is sound on this video. I might. Um, oh, it does sound like we have video now, so perhaps with your permission, permission we can, we can Donc, attempt again. Du côté du Cambodge, le président Sianouk a décidé de quitter ses fonctions. Norodom Sianouk, qui avait passé cinq ans en exil à Pékin, était redevenu le patron de l'État cambodgien. Et bien maintenant, il a décidé de quitter le pouvoir et apparemment, sa décision a été confirmée. Et il dit en même temps que, de toute façon, le pouvoir, votre famille l'avait déjà depuis 2000 ans et que ce pouvoir, vous étiez prêt à l'abandonner. Moi, je veux bien partir it. quand euh, euh, les, les intérêts de mon pays me commandent uh, de quitter mon poste de chef d'État, mais je ne peux pas euh, qu'on me donne un coup de pied dans leave. le derrière, qu'on euh, me chasse alors que je n'ai pas trahi mon pays. Be je ne m'accepte pas de faire ce conflit. C'est pourquoi j'ai lutté. J'ai lutté et j'ai gagné. Parce que j'aime la vie. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez Je suis euh, comme Cassius Clay, n'est-ce pas Qui aime la boxe, moi j'aime la lutte. Et quelqu'un qui veut s'engager dans un match de boxe, je suis involved, je vais join him dans la boxe. Your Honours, um, the resignation was made public, and Cette démission a été rendue public. for the consumption of the public, it appears Et that moi, the acceptance of the resignation moi. was again issued by Q. Sampan. This is found in document E3 slash 275. It is an excerpt, cette démission. again, from the Foreign Broadcast Information Service. We de only have FBS. the English version at Nous the moment. We have requested a translation. And just for the record, I will indicate the ERN in English is 00 and I just note that document for the record because it purports to be a, an acceptance um, issued by Q. San Pan on behalf of what was then still, a, in effect, a government uh, of a national union. And it is dated, as I indicated, the 4th of April, 1976. The next document that is relevant to the activities of Q. San Pan in the establishment of the new state is E3-165. This is another document that has been considered before, and in particular during our presentations on the authority structures. And that was discussed on the 10th of October 2012. The document is entitled Document on Conference 1 of, of Legislature 1 of the People's Representative Assembly of Campuchia, held on the 11th to the 13th of April 1976, and it is now displayed on the screen. Um, it is a long document. We will only look at one portion of it, um, the portion that contains a speech delivered by Q. San Pan. The speech starts at Command ERN 0053610, French 0030138, and English 0018405250. And I will read. Briefly from it, Q. Sampan states the following quote. Today is a day to forever end the black era of the sorrowful oppression of the imperialists and the colonialists, both old and new, in all sectors, political, military, economic, cultural, cultural, over our Campuchian people. Donc de During that era, sur notre we lost all, all, of, all of the Pendant soul période, of our nation, the pays, true nature of our people, de notre the views, stances, laws and customs, politics, les economics, lois, culture, coutume, la politique, social affairs, la culture, les sociales, the way of life, bref, everything which is reactionary, vie, corrupt, ruffian of the imperialists, Colonialists and the other oppressor classes held down our nation.
tightly. Ces mœurs brutales et désopérialistes the future or rather the creation of the new states and the way forward, the new state le institutions le and the way forward. Quote, we clearly see the Nous scale of the victory of the people, of the worker peasant la and the other laborers du peuple, of our revolutionary de army paysan, de notre under the enlightened and magnificent leadership of our revolutionary organization. We see clearly the great value of our Constitution and Assembly, which came out of the struggle from the fresh blood of our people. Therefore, our Assembly was not created by an election trick or legislative tricks, by means of misguided or by propaganda and fraud. And neither was it created through begging or surrendering to the imperialists, colonialists, or other oppressor classes. The passage, of course, is relevant, Your Honours, because Kyusampan attended those closed meetings of the leadership where the nature of the parliament as a sham was discussed. And before we leave this document, um, another brief passage, Khmer ERN 0003614 to 5. French 00301341 to 2, and English 00184054 to 5, where Q. Sampan discusses the need for revolutionary vigilance in the new era. Quote, we continue to strengthen and expand the force of great solidarity of the entire nation and people and to raise revolutionary vigilance to a high level at all times in order to go on the offensive on every battlefield to produce in every sector. I will stop there in the interest of time, but the document contains the expression of a number of principles relevant to the, to the state and, and the policies of the Communist Party itself. What is interesting here is that this speech is then endorsed by a number of representatives, including a representative of industrial workers, a representative of female workers, a representative of peasants from the southwest zone, peasants from the Siem Reap sector, and lastly by a representative of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea. Of course, uh, as my colleague presented to you on the 10th of October 2012. In this document, we also see the appointment of the Standing Committee of the People's Representative Assembly, headed by Nguyen Chia, the Presidium, headed by Q. Sampan, and the government, headed by Pol Pot, with Yen Suri as Deputy Kyo Prime Minister, et Pol Pot et responsible for foreign affairs. Le the document also contains um, decisions to accept the request la to retire of Prince Norodom Sihanouk, as well as la démission du Prince a request Sihanouk. to retire of the et previous si government. And those requests and, and, and uh, approvals are at Khmer ERN 0005363 and following French 0030153 and following and English 0018406740 and the following pages. On retrouve les approbations de ces deux démissions. The next document relevant to the role performed by Q. Sampan in this document, process pour le rôle de is a decree un, or crumb in, Cambodian, in, in crumb. Khmer. This is found in E3 slash 260. It is a, a crumb on the determination of the functioning of the People's Representative Assembly of Kampuchea and of the Standing of Committee of the People's Representative Assembly of Kampuchea. Uh, we will go briefly through this, um, in fact, to look at only one article 
Article 6 states the following. The Campuchian People's Representative Assembly shall have the full right to determine major issues. Again, a decree by Q. Sampan issued on the 2nd of May 1976 in his capacity as the president now of the state presidium. We will now briefly um, look at the issue of the trips which uh, Kyu Sampan undertook into the countryside Je vais in his role as president of the state presidium, de where he was able to um, visit work sites and cooperatives Il a pu visiter des sites de travail, um, des and various other locations. One such report can be found in E3 slash 273. So that is again a, an extract from the Foreign Broadcast Information Service. Un extrait de ce rapport FIBIS. A Khmer translation is unfortunately not available. We have requested it. Um, the French ERN is 0725. 704 and 0 0 0 0 Rather than display the document, I will just indicate that it um, reports a three-day tour of the north, le document, je uh, which Narodom Sihanouk undertook de voyage de trois jours in January 1976, where nord, he was accompanied by the then Prime Minister of the Government of the National Union and the Deputy Prime Minister, Kyu Sampan. So this trip occurred only two or three months before the uh, abolition, if you like, of the, that Government of National donc, Union and the establishment of Democratic Kampuchea. Um, and here it's uh, is relevant because it records uh, Kyu Sampan's trips into the countryside. Et, euh, um, de voyage. Mr. President, with your permission, we have two dans le Nord. brief video recordings which record vidéos. essentially uh, statements by Norodom Sihanouk describing de Norodom Sihanouk que, uh, his dans return to Cambodia il and his trips uh, to these cooperatives Et and his description of what he saw in those cooperatives. Dans ces the first video is D299.1.42R, and the second one le is D108.32.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42.2.1.42
J'ai vu que les coopératives étaient des camps de concentration. J'ai vu comment le travail se faisait nuit et jour. Quand il y avait pleine lune, les gens ne pouvaient pas dormir. Les gens n'avaient pas le droit de dormir, ils devaient travailler. I saw what people ate, for there was no rice. The rice was mixed with maize and other things. Beans, even things, the chocolate stalks, the banana plants, the scorched banana peels, the diet was a very, very bad. In April 1976. En avril 1976, Kyo Sampan a pris la relève en tant que chef d'État et Sianouk a été mis en a été arrêté à domicile. Comment a-t-il survécu tout au long de ce régime Sianouk a une excellente réponse. Pourquoi Eh bien parce que le président Mao Zedong et le premier ministre Zhou Enlai ont dit aux dirigeants Khmer Rouge Pol Pot et Kyo Sampan en septembre 1976, vous ne pouvez pas tuer Sihanouk, son épouse et ses enfants. Et nous sommes les seuls survivants de la famille royale. And now the second segment, Your Honours, I believe uh, a brief, um, a brief period is required for the AV unit to set up the second segment, which is approximately two minutes long. Il dure deux minutes. Il faut laisser à la régie le temps de le faire. President. Le président. You may proceed. Oui, uh, every post officers are now instructed to play this video. Pour le service technique de faire le nécessaire pour que l'extrait vidéo soit projeté aux écrans. I did not see the killing fields. I was a practically a prisoner of the Khmer Rouge in the Royal Palace. I was completely isolated. J'étais complètement isolé. I saw only one man kill some pawn from time to time. He came to the Royal Palace just to say hello. Dire bonjour. How are you? Comment allez-vous? And I tried to get his permission and Paul Pot's permission to have, for instance, on the occasion of my birthday anniversary, I would like to have my children, my grandchildren. But he said, "No, no, no." Now they are far from Phnom Penh. They are in good health, but please don't, don't. Don't have a family life anymore because now with our new communist communism, we have to think of the country, the homeland only. No more family life. But the Khmer Rouge are not like that. They 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 are not like that. Turn to now would be speeches delivered by Kyu Sampan throughout the period 1975 to 1979. Um, I'm mindful of the time. Uh, is this an appropriate time to break, or would you prefer me to continue? Est-il temps d'observer une pause? Voulez-vous que je continue? Thank you. Bien. The first speech, premier discours, delivered by. Dates to the 21st of April 1975. This is, of course, only four days following the fall of Phnom Penh. So the timing is particularly relevant. The moment is so particularly pertinent. This speech is contained in another extract from the Foreign Broadcast Information Service. Document E3 slash 118. E3 slash 118. The English ERN is 00166994 to 00166996. We have already requested the Khmer and French translations. We hope they will be available shortly. 
I will read very briefly two passages from this speech. It is entitled Congratulatory Statement by Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of National Defense and Commander-in-Chief Q. Sampan to CPNLAF units and Cambodian people. And it was broadcast on the Phnom Penh domestic service on the 21st of April 1975. And this is what the speech says. Quote, this is our nation's and people's greatest historic victory. Our entire nation, people and CPNLAF, as well as people throughout the world and in all friendly countries, far and near, warmly welcome this great victory. It has opened the most brilliant and righteous path which has led the Cambodian people and the CPNLAF in waging the powerful people's war to fight the enemy on every field, military, political, economic, and in its efforts to drain the population from controlled areas, successively smashing all enemy maneuvers relentlessly attacking and draining the enemy of its military, political, economic, and financial strength, food and rice, until it reached a point from which it could not recover. Finally, the enemy died in agony. And the next passage that I wish to read at Khmer, at English ERN 00166995 looks to the future and it says the following. However, there will certainly be many obstacles in carrying out our task of national defense and construction which lies ahead. Therefore, we must unite and continue to struggle courageously by constantly increasing revolutionary vigilance and continuing our firm stand of self-reliance. Of course, Your Honours, the relevance of this document is that it records a speech given only days following the fall of Phnom Penh and at a time during which, according to witness testimony you've heard, the evacuations were still continuing. And it is relevant also, in light of Q. Sampan's claim to the co-investigating judges in the document we saw yesterday, that he felt sad about the evacuations. The next document, which relates to the events in April 1975, um, and I mention it here because it, it builds on that speech that we just saw. It is a note by the late Norodom Sihanouk, and it is document 10.18. It is written in French. It is a handwritten note. It is only one page, and we have requested a translation into Khmer. Um, we have an English translation and the French original available at the moment. And I will read briefly from it. It was written in Beijing on the 28th of March, 2007, and it states, on 17 April 1975, from Beijing, PRC, I sent to His Excellency Q. Sampan a message of congratulation and admiration on the occasion of the very great victory of our heroic and glorious, in inverted commas, 
AFNLC, F Armed F Forces of National Liberation of Cambodia, in Phnom Penh, and expressed to the Khmer Rouge, who are in state power from now on, my desire to return without delay to our country in order to be able to live among the Khmer nation and people. Now it is our people that the Khmer Rouge wanted and wants at any price to break from me and the monarchy. I received from His Excellency Q. Sampan an official response in which there was a fatal epidemic in Phnom Penh that obliged the Khmer Rouge to evacuate people from the capital to the countryside and asked me to report later about my return to the country. Again, Your Honours, this is relevant because it contains a Ceci est pertinent, recording of statements made by Q. Sampan, in this case to the late Norodom Sihanouk, immediately upon the fall of Phnom Penh. Par Q. Sampan, à Sihanouk, As we juste après la move on Penh. now to other speeches uh, à delivered by Q. Sampan, par Q. Sampan, which as we will see contain endorsement of CPK policy and decisions. Avalise les décisions et la politique du PCK. The first document is the 17th of April 1976 speech. April that was delivered by Q. Sampan on the occasion of the of the first anniversary of the fall of Phnom Penh. Now, the speech deals with a number of matters. It is found in E3 slash 275. So it is, again, a foreign broadcast information service extract. I will be selective in the passages, given that we have limited time. Um, we only have an English version at the moment. We have requested translations into Khmer and French. At English ERN 00167-631, Q. Sampan again endorses and celebrates the 17th of April victory. And he says the following, quote, in relation to the 17th of April, quote, it was also the day the dark era which had overcast our beloved Cambodia ended. It was the day when all sorts of sufferings and misery of our workers and peasants who had lived for a long time in filth and misery under the oppression of the imperialists, colonialists, and all stripes of reactionaries ended. The next passage immediately below is as follows. Our people, workers, peasants, and revolutionary army, under the clear-sighted leadership of our revolutionary organization, not only have won a great victory and totally liberated the Cambodian fatherland, but have also put an end to the dark era that had hung over them for thousands of years and liberated themselves from the oppressive yoke of imperialism, old and new colonialism, and that of all other oppressive reactionary forces. There are several more excerpts in this uh, document, Ce Mr. Document President. Um, would you like to take a break now? Extrait. J'aimerais donc demander que l'on observe une pause à présent. Le Président. President. Yes, uh, it is now appropriate time Le moment for the chamber to adjourn for 20 minutes. Les débats reprendront dans 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed at 11 o'clock. Soit à 11 heures. Some